Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, March 1st already. And I have another update with you. Information straight from the top. Now, you will hardly ever, and I say rarely, hear me say this at the beginning of my video, but because I promise to bring you the latest updates from Novatech FX, especially from the CEO, smash that subscribe, hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot and get that information to you. Well, you're not going to hear me talk much today. I want to get right into a recording that was recently released, I want to say probably two days ago, from Cynthia Petion. She made this recording to the upper level team leaders of Novatech with the thoughts of it trickling down, just like a CEO would do in any other corporation. How many times do you see Ford, GM, CEOs releasing Zoom calls to their customers? She is busy, the Petions are busy, the admins are busy, but she promised to bring communication to us and she is doing that. So with no further ado, let's get right into this audio released from CEO Cynthia Petion on Novatex information. Hey guys, good morning. How's it going? So first I want to say thank you for you guys being here. It, it means a great deal to me that this small group of leaders that have been here for so long and been with us for so long, um, you guys are still willing to hang out and to help us come up with ideas and take a vested interest in, in the business and us personally as people. So for that, I want to say thank you. We love you and um, thank you for everything that you do. So with that said, all right, one of the things I strongly dislike about this type of business that we're in is the fickleness of the market, the people, sometimes who invest with us and, 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 and things like that. Things go up, they go down, they go up, they go down on a regular basis. We've always tried to maintain a very steady level of sustainability and profitability so that people can come to expect a certain level of uh, performance from us, right? Now, with that said, not everybody likes what we do, but we do it, we do it well, we've done it for a very long time. This is not the first time that we've run into difficulties and we've always overcome it. It is not our intention ever to go away or stop performing or anything like that. Too many people rely on us. That's the reason why we do what we do. All right, so I wish I can give people the calmness that we feel internally ourselves, knowing that things are under control and improving every day and i know people don't always see what goes on in the background and you know as leaders and we have to sometimes just you know be mindful and careful of things that we say and do and you know just to make sure that we're conveying the correct message at all times all right but just to give you guys a quick update because i know that's what everybody wants um we like i said made some changes with our system Unfortunately, the system that we had was not able to keep up with the uh, amount of payments and transactions that we do on a daily basis and to send them out, which is why we decided to make a transition to Quickie Pay. It is preferable that everybody uses Quickie Pay, both for you know payments and the withdrawals are under our control, but it just helps to solidify that so that we can find any kinks also that are within the system so that we can make corrections as needed. Right now, we've kind of been tiptoeing between coin payments and quickie pay, um, you know, and if people want to continue to use coin payments, that's fine. But to me, the level of service and the speed at which we can do things through quickie pay far outranks coin payments, and I would rather use that as, as a, a payment processing system. All right, but again, the decision as of right now is still on the user which service they would prefer to, to use. Um, we've also made the decision to start paying current and trickle backwards to anything that needs to be back pay. And why are we doing that? Most of the people who have back pay are the ones who are getting paid currently, right? Because we're paying all the bonuses out on a weekly basis. It doesn't make sense on an administrative level to keep trying to catch up with back payment when we have people who are making payments currently um, that need to be made. So it is our recommendation that we pay everything from the front and trickle backwards, 
All right, but at least people know they're still getting paid weekly because we are still paying weekly. It's just we have a backlog now from when we had some system downtime and everything else, um, transitions, a lot of other things going on in the market. So I just need a little bit of patience and understanding with that. But it also encourages the new people coming in to know that we are paying. But I don't think it's fair for the new people coming in to have to pay or wait to get paid because the people who are already here are also getting paid are getting a backlog. So to me, that makes the most amount of sense. Um, we'll start from the front, keep it rolling back until we're completely caught up. This way, everybody is getting paid uh, consistently, which is always our goal to do so. Now, in um, a, a word just quickly about the uh, trading accounts, guys, I, we've always been extremely, extremely flexible. And it's one of the reasons why we've grown to the base that we have is our flexibility, but no business allows people to just withdraw huge sums of money at, at, at free will. And again, it's not our intention to not give people their capital, all right? However, people do need to understand the nature of the business, and if money is trading and everybody wants to panic and, and withdraw and, and do everything else, that it's going to cause a backlog in doing so because we have to forcibly close trades in order to release, and that's what we've been trying not to do. Uh, you guys have seen the market recently, um, whether somebody is trading or not trading or whatever, there's this freezes going on all over the place. So we're not doing anything that's not normal. But I just want people to understand that we've seen cases quite often where people withdraw, they go to other businesses, they lose everything in such a short period of time, it's embarrassing. And, and, and it's heartbreaking to see people leave what we've built sometimes in, with all good intention and sincerity to have to go through other businesses because they're either fearing or panicking or just want to try something else and see how it works or throw their money at things because it's promising them more return to only see that it gets eaten up literally right in front of them probably faster than I've ever seen it done in, in, in this market. So I just want people to be careful and mindful about that, you know, that if you want to go try something else, I always encourage people to do so if that's what they want to do. But try not to pull from one source to do it in another, because if it doesn't work out, you are coming back, which a lot of them do most of the time, with less than what you started with. And it's not what I want to see happen for people. It's not the reason why we're here. And I want people to just be mindful and just be careful because these stories, sometimes I hear them, it's, it's really heart-wrenching to see what goes on out there. And we're not even anywhere near what some of these other companies are doing, and it's still causing people some distress. I want people to have a little bit of um, comfort and peace, knowing that we are still working very hard, very diligently every day to make sure that we continue what we've built um, it doesn't mean we're not going to run into problems. Problems happen, but we're not the type of people to run away from anything. All right. And knowing that you have people here that care about what we do, how we do it, and who benefits from it is, to me, I don't know, I, that, that alone should give people a little peace of mind. All right. Because I've seen us change too many lives. And what we do makes a difference and it makes a difference to us all right and okay before i get all emotional stop at ceo um i just want you guys to know how much we we do care and love, and love you guys and um no matter what uh, we will lay down for you guys and and do whatever we have to to make sure that this business continues and we continue to feed people because nobody else can say that they've done that nobody else can say that they've done what we've done for the last few years and God did not give us his plan and did not give us his mission to only have it sink. It's not going to. All right. So um, let me know what you need for now. I just wanted to give you a quick update. And um, we'll, we'll talk in a bit. There you heard it. Uh, it's refreshing. It's, it's encouraging. Uh, and, hey, I'm human. You know, can we all have our doubts? Can we have questions? Um, faith versus fear. But we heard it directly from her. The payments are coming. Uh, they've done some adjusting. Uh, just like what I heard others speculate about, 
uh, going into the latter part of last week that they want to make the payments on the bonus accounts first coming in, get those out, and then get caught up on that backlog and keep that tail getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And they are doing it, and they're doing a miraculous job. I have a family member that has put in withdrawals from their uh, bonus account and they're receiving it. Many others that I personally know, they're getting their money. So payments are being made. Novatech has not run out of money. The haters are spreading it. The haters are having a field day, spreading the lies. Novatech has not run out of money. People are getting paid. You're getting paid. If you're waiting for your bonus payout for the first part of February, be patient. It's coming. That's what I tell my family members. It's coming. Be patient. Now, as far as the quickie pay versus coin payment, I know if you watch my other videos, the word was don't use quickie pay in funding your account, upgrading your account. Cynthia uh, says, otherwise, I'm going to leave that up to you guys, whatever you feel comfortable in doing. So I'll leave that alone. I just want to take a brief moment here just to reiterate uh, what she's saying as far as long-term investments versus you know using Novatech as an ATM. Yes, it is not an ATM. Uh, if you want to put your money in something where you're going to pull from your trading account uh, every single week, Novatech is not for you. Go put it in your credit union, go put it in your bank, get your ATM, your debit card, and pull from there. Um, Novatech is designed to be longer term. Let your trading balance set there. Let that grow. Pull from your bonus. Uh, in fact, a lot of people are being encouraged, and I support this 100%, is if you want to pull from your bonus to help Novatech get more streamlined and caught up, don't do it every single week. Leave it in your bonus payout for two weeks, three weeks, or even to the end of the month, and then pull out that lump sum. And then you can just feed off from that for the next few weeks if you want to do that. But in the end, CEO Cynthia Pedian has assured us they are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. They're not running out of money. She's here to help us. She's here to help you. She's here to help me. She's here to help my family, my friends, your family, your friends, your neighbors. So, like I said, I didn't want this video to be long. I wanted to bring you the information as soon as it's accessible to me. So smash that subscribe button so you can stick around with us in our channel here as I bring you the latest and the greatest. And hit that like button. Let me know that you liked what you heard today. And in the meantime, have a good day.